Focus up! Tough fight. was next to Mother's Garden this whole time. No wonder we can never get in there. Why is Odin so desperate to find a way into Jotunheim anyway? He's convinced the Giants hold the key to changing his fate when Ragnarok comes. They are the Aesir's oldest enemies, after all. And it's their army that's supposed to do him in in the end. But more than that, he covets their gifts of prophecy. He wants to know what they know and see what they see. So much suffering could have been avoided if his insatiable curiosity was not so much stronger than his wisdom. What do you mean? Ah... Remind me to tell you why they call him the Lord of the Hang.
The apple doesn't fall far. Atreus, follow me. Be right there. So why do they call Odin the Lord of the Hang? That refers to a modest example of Odin's thirst for knowledge. The time he spent nine days a dead man. Hung himself by the neck from Yggdrasil's branches, put his spear through his own side, and bled down into the Well of Destiny. He roamed the realms of the dead and plundered the world tree of its secrets, until I think quite rightly it got fed up with him and sent him back to the land of the living. Did I not mention he was barking mad?
frost crystals in your eyes. A loving gift from the giants. Since I used to do so much traveling between realms, they thought it would be more convenient for me than having a crystal I could lose. Did it hurt? No, because I wisely fortified myself with 16 cups of Billow Maiden's Ale. Got so inebriated, I tried convincing the giants to put them in my nipples instead. <laughs> Almost talked them into it too. Can you imagine? Mimir of the Bifrost teats. <laughs> Ah, those were the days. Ew. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll stop now. What's got you all bum fuzzled over there? Get going! So how was your trip to Jotunheim? Will you give them a little privacy? The kid just found out he's a giant. He doesn't need you. Doesn't mean I ain't got a customer base of my own to keep happy. Oh yeah? Who's that? Well, you came back here, didn't you? Fair point. That's good. Our mystics and gentle breeze and the sweet smell of honeysuckle and blood. Well, judging by the sky, the Light Elves are in control of the light this time. Explain. You see, the Light Elves and Dark Elves... ...are always fighting over the light. That part we know. But did you also know that control of the light has changed hands no less than 213 times? Really? It's true. Each side believes itself the rightful keepers of the light, and argue they're simply fighting for survival. But the fact of the matter is, the war has been going on so long, I don't know who they are without it. this up for me. Svartalfheim means land of the Dark Elves, right? Right. But you said the Dark Elves have been here in Alfheim a really long time. And anyway, aren't dwarves supposed to be from Svartalfheim? They don't look like Dark Elves. Don't you think so? You are vastly more perceptive than the Aesir. They're the ones who apparently can't tell the difference. And they're the ones who came up with that name. Dwarves actually call their home realm Nidavellir. So the Dark Elves aren't from Svartalfheim at all? Not even a bit. They're just elves of another colour. Nobody knows who came first, but they all come from Alfheim. Why do they fight all the time if they're really the same? That is adorable. Huh? It is the way of the world. 
Oh, well, that's sad. Let me guess, there's a Valkyrie in here. Yep. Well, are we gonna fight her? There's a trapped spirit in there. Quiet, head. <laughs> 